In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at graphing the most basic quadratic relation, y equals x squared. And uh, we're going to start with, we're going to make a table of values to just plot some points to graph this. And some students will ask, well, why did you pick these negative 3 to positive 3 numbers? Uh, the reason I use those is because that's like the kind of the interesting part of the graph. I could take numbers below negative 3 or above positive 3, but that's going to give you something around the origin. Um, you know, if, if I substitute a number like 10 for x in here, uh, 10 squared is 100, well, I'd need a pretty big graph height-wise in order to be able to graph that point. So that's why I wouldn't put a number like 10 in my table. There might be times when that might be appropriate. So to evaluate this, so we're going to substitute each of these numbers one at a time in place of x in the function here. And uh, so the, the first thing we're going to evaluate, we're going to put negative 3 in there and square it. And negative 3 squared, now I'm squaring the negative 3, so that means negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. So we'll put a 9 here. Now, I'm going to bring my calculator over here for a second. So if you mean to square negative 3, then in most calculators, you cannot type that in. Because that's actually not squaring negative 3. It's actually, so notice this gives us negative 9, that's actually the same as typing this. Because we're actually, and this is just bed mass, order of operations. Remember, you do exponents before you multiply. So this negative is actually a negative 1 times the 3 squared. So um, exponents we do first, so 3 squared is 9, and then we multiply it by negative 1, that's why it's negative 9. So if you mean to square negative 3, don't type either one of these in your calculator, because that's not what you're telling the calculator to do. So the next one, uh, I want to put brackets around. I need brackets if the base is negative. So negative 2 squared is 4, so this is going to be a 4 here. And negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Now we know I don't have any more uh, negatives in the base. So 0 squared is 0. Uh, 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. And so notice we're actually duplicating the numbers. So that's the same 1 as that, the same 4 as that. So 3 squared is 9, same y value we got up here. So Let's get rid of these. So this means the point negative 3, 9. That's the ordered pair of negative 3 now we're going to plot in a moment. Uh, this would be negative 2, 4, negative 1, positive 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9 at the bottom. So negative 3, 9 means from the origin we go left 3 and up 9. So we're going to plot that point right there. And then negative 2, 4, so left 2, up 4. And then negative 1, 1, so left 1, up 1, so we're going to plot that point. And here's 0, 0. And then 1, 1, so right 1 and up 1, so that point right there. 2, 4, which is right 2 and up 4, so we'll put a dot right there. And then 3, 9. So 3, 9 is going to be right up here. So um, just so you can see here, um, you know, if I had made this uh, table, a little bit longer. So if I had, let's say I put 4 here, or, or negative 4 up the top here, uh, 4 squared 16, and the problem, okay, so that's the point 4, comma, 16. So the problem with that, okay, so here's 4, so that's 11 right there, 12, 13, 14, you know, I'm off the top of the graph. So, so that's the reason I didn't use 4, negative 4, for example. There's my 3, 9 point back again. So, and we'll draw a smooth curve between those. And so that's y equals x squared. So that's the, the most basic parabola, uh, uh, the graph of y equals x squared. And that's the end of the tutorial.